Oh, sorry. Don't I know you from somewhere? Hey, you're that butts guy, aren't you? Huh? <laughs> no, no, Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Well, you're both kind of failures. Oh. Hello everyone and welcome back! Coco is here with Frosh, the Devil's Avocado, and Shades of Ninja, and we are continuing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Now let's hey. see. The day of the crime. <clears throat> Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, uh, I know it must be hard. No, it's... it's fine. Is it? All I've been doing for the last few hours is talk about it. Might as well relive the trauma again. I've kind of become numb. Oh. Do you be a therapist? <laughs> no therapy can help her. <laughs> Let's see, uh, that morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence. Uh, for a trial that was coming up. That's the thinker clock that Larry made. It practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> so then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around 9. AM or PM, this is important. <laughs> it was dark. Oh. <laughs> Could it be winter? Could it be morning? <laughs> <laughs> the lights were off and I could smell blood. Then I found her. My sister. Conspicuously not covered in blood for some reason. <laughs> Avoiding hanging out with me once again. <laughs> you, can, you can't just let things go, can you? Never! <laughs> anyway. No. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. <laughs> I just can't wait till I get to scream OBJECTION! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll get oh, plenty of chances. Sin. Cause I'm still doing the Yami Yugi thing. When he enters the courtroom, his voice just gets deep. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> the star monitors the visitor's room. Or is a really convincing statue. He hasn't moved an inch. Real pro, this guy. Or he's Probably on sketchy. loan from Madame Tussauds. <laughs> Ooh, I, that place freaks me out. I, I've been there before. Yeah, nope. it's pretty skatey. <laughs> Smile for the camera. Why? <laughs> Does the window say anything? No, I said no clues here. Was that what? I think she clicked on the... the... Okay. On what? The window? The window. Yeah, the window. Like, if something were there, it would pop up examine. Yeah, okay. Okay. Are we moving? Ah, oh, the cookie. <laughs> Forgot all about that. Um, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Is it a crawler? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, this, this, who designed that badge? I wanted to ask you about the murder weapon. My poor sister. Hmm, better not ask her about this right now. This was lying next to the chief's body. Uh, I saw that too. They said they thought these were pieces of a broken light stand. So did I. Yeah, that seems about right. Though I'd never heard of a glass light stand before this. What do you mean you said that when we, when we investigated the first day? <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? 
Oh, oh, Phoenix. Remember that receipt? Yeah, I pulled them on people. All t I mean, <laughs> I mean the one with my name on it. Yes. Any idea why she? Nope. I would suspect someone else did it. I mean, did. unless this was a cliche. It's probably a cliche. Uh, I, do you trust me? I say we give her the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, all right. I mean, she's the <laughs> character of the series. Why wouldn't we trust her? That's the biggest zag of all. She's <laughs> she's the mastermind behind it all. <laughs> Every time was a giant elaborate plot for no reason. For more sushi <laughs> hamburgers. <laughs> she has to get money somehow, right? <laughs> I trust you. Um, why? Because I am the worst attorney ever. Don't, don't you think I did it too? I mean, all sides point toward it, but not right now I don't. It's just a hunch, but you crying over a dead body probably means you didn't do it. Or that she has regrets. Oh. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> Even though you were screaming, Oh god, what have I done? Why did I do this? Oh no! <laughs> I have so many regrets! I still don't think it was you. <laughs> no, I no. had lots of hesitation in the blows! <laughs> but she's still dead. <laughs> that detective from New York thinks I did it. <laughs> yeah, he's from New York for some reason. I mean, all I have is ellipses. <laughs> I want to ask you about your cell phone. That detective took it when they brought me in. As I think, he, processes. I think he was just trying to steal my charms off my phone. You have a Naruto charm on there? <laughs> so, Naruto, go shoot, Naruto, took it. Oh my god! <laughs> I'll have to try to get back next time I see him. Well, see ya. I. <laughs> Please tell me he leaves without seeing it. Yes! yes! <laughs> and now I will leave. Oh, my wow. with... <laughs> now I will leave for no reason. <laughs> the big brain am winning again. This office is filled with police officers. It's almost like it's a crime scene. <gasps> They're all busy searching for clues. Oi, you there. Are they all from New York? Yeah, oh, wait, never mind. <clears throat> New day. Forget about, forget about. This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Oh. Sorry. Don't I know you from somewhere? Hey, you're that butts guy, aren't you? Huh? <laughs> no, no. Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Well, you're both kind of failures. Oh. Ah, I guess I got the name wrong. Uh, Mr. Wright. Uh, sorry about that. That butt guy, he was a killer. And you're no killer, right? Is everyone incompetent? Welcome he to this was... world. <laughs> <laughs> he was proven innocent. <laughs> He's really having a wee chuckle there, doesn't he? <laughs> um, right. And you were... <laughs> we'll pick his name, but I like the other choices we have. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe? I want to call him Richard, just because it might piss him off. <laughs> right. At your service. Hang on. That's a dick of Gumshoe to you, pal. Wait. I think that's what you said. <laughs> anyway, get the name right. 
And don't go calling me dick. I mean, you are what you eat. <laughs> uh, I'll do this. Oh, dick! Get over here! <laughs> don't call me dick. Hey, dick! <laughs> uh, you... <laughs> yes, sir. I'll be right there. Uh, um, <clears throat> You're a lawyer, right, pal? Uh, not really. If you got business here, you better do it quick. Phew, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well be. Thanks. About Mrs. <laughs> Fett. Did you do an autopsy? Hmm? You wanna know the results, eh? I, yes. Uh, don't you look at me like that, pal! It's no use! Sorry. <laughs> she might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright. You can see the report. But that's all! Ah, oh, more illegal things. No, no, as established in the first episode, the only illegal thing is murder. True. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like none of these guys ever read a handbook, ever. <laughs> What's a handbook? You literally just show up to your job like, Hey, I'm working here! <laughs> sure, why not? We're the last person Hey, you need a detective, I'm over here! <laughs> um... About my, uh... Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Considering you're heaving. <laughs> you're a too Listen, there. I smoke a lot, okay? Ah, <laughs> uh, just like a true New Yorker. <laughs> Sorry, pal. This is one trial you ain't gonna win. Capiche? Why do you say that? Is it because my fingerprints are all over the crime scene? The city's put... Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Can I just say, based on what I know about him, his name fits too well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of. Edgeworth. <laughs> Your boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, I see that people ship I'm them. sure I you don't... know what that means. No, no, just being wait. a lawyer and all. I think I that would... makes him the Uki. I don't know. Oh, I don't know these terms. Uh, Prosecutor. Oh, who's the weave now, I Brad? In your eyes. Oh, I, I'm not that much of a weeb because I don't know which one is which. Wait, which one's what? <laughs> he said he used the term Uki. Sir, Prosecutor sir. Prosecutor Edgeworth. Prosecutor. Oh, that's gumption. Oh, wait. oh. did you I take my line? Line. <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry about it. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Like, possibly as a childhood friend? Well, yes, he is the Dingleberg of the series. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we know him. I know him, he's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain, he doesn't feel remorse. Basically, Sephiroth. He won't stop until he gets his guilty <laughs> you verdict. You insult Edgeworth by comparing him to Sephiroth. I mean, they both have silver hair. Don't you dare. They both want to become a god. <laughs> <laughs> they both super into their dead family members. <laughs> like, they're basically the same character. How dare you. <laughs> <laughs> they're both super into some loser it's, with fake hair. <laughs> it's like they're anime tropes or something. <laughs> and each one of them has like this clone of them that keeps following them around. There's fancy bodies in them and the Edward. <laughs> when Edward shows up, can we just like can we just like like edit in like one winged angel in there? That's just too long now. <laughs> I think Raj took care of it for us. <laughs> <laughs> One great Edgeworth. There should just be like a subtle MIDI version of it that plays whenever he appears. Yes, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> oh, hilarious. <laughs> oh, dear. Ah, don't you talk about him that way. You make him sound barely... It sound... Bleh. 
Hey, you make it sound like Sephiroth! I mean... <laughs> Still, I'm afraid this is pretty much decides the case. Capiche? So... Trying out my new... new, uh... Italian words. Okay, dude. <laughs> so, Edgeworth is on this one. Of course he would be. <laughs> He hasn't, lost, he hasn't lost a case since he became prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Ah, exposition. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. <clears throat> All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crimes with an abnormal passion. There's also that time he grabbed his old woman and impaled it on a tree spike. I like Jesus how Christ. Christ. his expression suddenly changed to concern as I think it's because just... Phoenix is like standing exactly. there not saying it. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Phoenix is laying pipe in his own head. <laughs> and there's like, sir, sir, are you okay? Like that mini game and no more heroes too. Oh no. Oh Coco, you still let us play that game? Huh? <laughs> what's that? Badge. It's a donut. Sorry, pal. I got no info for the likes of you. What do you mean? You've been giving me info for the past five minutes. <laughs> You know. come I was wondering, do you know anything about this? That statue? That's a murder weapon. <laughs> huh? Because the clock is just a statue, too. I mean, where's the clock face? On the bottom? I'm sorry. It doesn't have. <clears throat> so you know, because uh, you haven't caught up on the, uh, no, the, the episode one, the. Um, it speaks the time when you, like, uh, press something. That's okay. awesome, actually. Yes. <laughs> but otherwise you can't tell, uh, and it has no, uh, physical dial or anything. Okay, that's, that's really weird, but uh, interesting design nonetheless. I'm starting to wish I'd never seen this thing. I like that the cop just lets you walk around with a murder weapon. <laughs> Like, I know that's gumshoe, but, like, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> like that's I said, nothing no illegal one, but murder. No <laughs> one here ever, like, read a manual or anything. Like, you know, they typically put away all the evidence to be looked at later. But no, my fingerprints are everywhere. <laughs> there was broken glass at the crime scene, right? Uh, oh, that? Seems like a glass stand next to the victim fell over. Glad shot for pieces of <coughs> broken stand. So I could hardly work stand it. Stand. <laughs> There's a piece of paper next to the victim, wasn't there? Yeah, the one with the killer's name on it. Are you sure that Mia wrote that herself? Given the condition of the handwriting, it's hard to say if it's her handwriting or not. You're in her office. Examples of her handwriting are everywhere. Your handwriting is significantly different when you write with a bloody finger. True, but also, <laughs> there's evidence elsewhere. I'm just saying that- Like, like you have you- head inside your bob. <laughs> 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 What just happened? <laughs> I went a little too uh, head first heavy and oh. uh, my headphones fell off. I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> but there's uh -oh. no proof that Mia wrote it. Adam always goes one step further. Yeah. I'm, I'm pure method. <laughs> it's best to be asked to dial it back down than to ask to amp it up. <laughs> I was wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh, it's oh, pink. That? I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Sure. I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Oh yeah, such gale. <laughs> uh oh, he's on to me. <laughs> oh god, I hate choices like this. But if it's a game like this, they all lead to the same conclusion. Yeah. Also, why do anything straight? Exactly. In this game. Motto. 
I mean, <clears throat> I say, oh god, I feel like telling to him not so straight would be the safe answer here because then we're trying to guile him. <laughs> yeah, because Phoenix is such a master manipulator. <laughs> right, tell him not so straight. <laughs> Why not though? <laughs> Okay. He's, <laughs> he's so he's so enticed <laughs> by that husky body. I mean, if he's into it, he's into it. I can't judge. <laughs> okay, I can't be straight with this guy. But what should I tell him? Hey, something the matter? Are you Relax appreciating my bara body? <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> I mean. I'm not into dudes, but buff people are pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, uh, that carrying strap on the phone. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, this? It says, The Steel Samurai, Warrior of the Neo Oldie Tokyo. Uh, The Steel Samurai, that action hero on TV that I definitely don't know about at all. Is that a reference of some sort? It's reference it's to a universe. future case. <laughs> yeah, you, you see that strap? It's a, it's a collector item. Fuck's <laughs> she, she, she was She was worried it, it might get lost if it went down to the precinct. This is... This is an excuse. <laughs> that what she said? Uh, yeah. Okay, pal. I wrote down all the numbers she called anywho. Here you go! It was the first competent thing I ever heard him say. It seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. <clears throat> How can you tell that? <laughs> I... Because uh... I say everything that's on my mind and I didn't mention it. Thanks, Gumshoe. You're welcome. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You're done, pal? Uh, yes. Thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh! Why is he again? Wait! One more thing I wanted to mention to you. Yes? I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness, are you? If we're ta talking about Maya, we already did. Uh, anyway, you better not. No influence in the witness with your lordly ways, pal. <laughs> what do you think I'm gonna do? I think you're gonna try to seduce oh, that one. Wait, 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 wait. One sleeve is longer than the other. What? <laughs> I didn't even notice that. You're right. Like, the other <laughs> sleeve is, like, up to her, like... The base of her fingers and the other one's at her wrist. What? It's a stretchy fabric. See, she's grabbing it. She's stretching it that far. <laughs> I hope so, because. Yeah, the draping actually makes her wrist look incredibly broken now that you point that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't. I know that, like, artists in general are, like, f like, 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 push to the wall as far as, like, drawing things, but you think they care a little bit more. Listen, I'm gonna be honest, I think there was one thing in this picture that they really cared about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think they, they think no one yeah, would I notice. Mean, if you look closely... Even people who aren't attracted to women are not gonna notice. Well, I mean, it's so clear that they only cared about the hair. Just look how it flips upward. Yeah, it's gorgeous! <laughs> yeah, like, like if you notice, like there's only two things with like excellent shading. It's either the hair or the boobs. <laughs> boobs? What boobs? <laughs> yeah, I didn't see any boobs. <laughs> Like, if you, you go to the face and, like, there's barely any shading and, like, there's no tongue in that mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I have no tongue, yet I must scream. <laughs> oh, that game was weird. Oh, 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 oh. Did you read the short story it was based on? No, I did not. Yeah. That it's, guy. Yeah. That guy had a rough night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well. Was that a Phil K. Dick uh, novel? Mm, uh, it's a short story. Short I can't story. remember I the was... or, author's name right now. Mm. But we anyway. end this episode right here. Thank you guys for joining us and see you next time. Bye. Hey, ending on titties. I mean, it's as much a mess inside as out.
You see the masked woman and talkative creatures <laughs> taking stock of an ancient looking books. The Kritanaste. Do you want to take over one of the other two people since I'm doing the narrator? And that's a lot. Uh, sure. Who would you prefer, Hedwin uh, or the creature? <laughs> Uh, I don't know, you're still somewhat a name. Alright, I'll, I'll continue with I'll... Hedwin. Okay, I'll, I'll try my best. I'm back. Agnosenta. And with a guest. She loosens the clasps on her mask. Ooh. Oh my god! <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I wanna marry him. 